Hello, Miami community. We have been practicing aggressive public health measures, but the coronavirus continues to spread. Cases are rising rapidly across our nation and our state. Governor DeWine has called upon us to work hard to prevent the spread of the virus and strain on our healthcare system. I know many have pandemic fatigue. I do too. But we must be dedicated to protecting ourselves and each other. Wear your masks whenever you leave your home, apartment, or hall, whether you're outside or inside. Limit your gathering sizes. Maintain six foot social distance. Wash your hands constantly and check your symptoms on the Campus Clear app. We know these measures work. Our cases have gone down because we have practiced them. This is how we keep our campus open and safe. By maintaining, we can have a strong finish to the semester. This is how Miamians care for each other. We can be a model for our state in this health crisis. The health of each of us depends on the health of all of us. Stay vigilant. We will make it through this together in love and honor. It's my senior year, and like you, I want to do everything. But I love my family and value my friendships, so I want to ensure that I am keeping my friends and family safe by adhering to COVID safety guidelines. We're about a month away from Thanksgiving break, and I am so ready for a warm pumpkin pie and to see my family. But before that, I have to think about the choices that I'm doing now to ensure that I'm not spreading COVID to my family and community members back at home. Between now and the end of the semester, here's what I plan to do to stay safe. For this weekend, I plan to go and stand in line at the Butler County Board of Elections to early vote. And then I also plan to go to Houston Woods and hike with some friends. Later on in the evening, I plan to drink some hot apple cider with my friends and watch some spooky movies for Halloween. On election day, I plan to work the polls while social distancing. As I prepare for finals and to go home, I plan to stay with my pot of friends, social distance, and to wear my mask so that I ensure that I'm not spreading COVID to my family. And I hope that you plan to do the same thing too. Let's stay healthy together. I'm very concerned about what's gonna happen between now and the end of the semester. Pandemic fatigue is setting in among us all, and it shows in the increase in cases across the state and the country. The virus loves the fall. The conditions are ideal for it to spread. Lower humidity, increase in indoor activities, and other illnesses like the seasonal flu and the common cold lower our immune systems, making us more susceptible. This all has the makings for a recipe for a bad situation as people begin to lower their guard. And all of this is happening as we're heading into three major event days, Halloween, Election Day, and Thanksgiving. The virus doesn't take vacation or celebrate holidays. If we are lax on Halloween or Election Day, it's very possible that you could be in isolation or quarantine just as you're hoping to go home. Our epidemiological models show that even with the number of cases that we've already had on campus, if we see a surge after Halloween, we'll continue to see an increase in the number of students in isolation and quarantine, likely through the time when everybody's trying to go home. However, if we avoid large gatherings, if we wear our masks and social distance, if we continue to wash our hands vigilantly, we can continue to see very low levels of isolation and quarantine all the way through the rest of the semester. The university has systems in place to help prevent spread. Testing, color coding of residence halls and the remain in room plan, a robust contact tracing team, and isolation and quarantine if and when they're needed. Your continued participation in these efforts is critical all the way through the rest of the semester. You can game our systems, but you can't game the virus. It always catches up. You don't want to be in isolation or quarantine instead of going home for Thanksgiving. You don't want to bring the virus home to your families. You know the things you can do to help keep yourself safe, to keep your family safe, and to keep your community safe. So please, be safe and be smart. We are so close to the finish line. We can do this by keeping our social circle small, adhering to the one guest policy in the residence halls, and masking up anywhere we go, 
we are doing our part in mitigating the effect that this virus has on our campus. Here are some things that we can do. Instead of dressing up and going out for Halloween, we could stay home, carve a pumpkin, and maybe binge watch some scary movies with our friends. On election day, instead of having an election day party, we can just tune in with our friends on Zoom and hear the results as they come in. And in fact, we might not even know the result on Tuesday. We can't let our guard down now. If we catch COVID in these last weeks, we may take it home to our family or be in isolation on campus. Nobody wants that. There's nothing more than I want to be home with my family, just like you want to be home with your family for Thanksgiving.